Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss the Employees Provident Funds and Miscellaneous Provisions Act 1952. It is an act to provide for the institution of provident funds, pension fund and deposit linked insurance fund for employees in factories and other establishments. However, before discussing the provisions, let's understand first what is meaning of employees provident funds or simply EPF. An investment fund contributed to by employees, employers and in certain case the estate out of which a lump sum is given to respective employee on his or her retirement. Now the question is what are the schemes under this act? Following are the important schemes under this act. Employees Provident Fund Scheme 1952 Employees Pension Scheme 1995 and Employees Deposit Linked Insurance 1976. Now let's check out each of them in brief. That is, what is meaning of Employees Provident Funds Scheme? As defined in Section 5 of this Act, the central government may, by notification in the official gazette, frame a scheme to be called the Employees Provident Fund Scheme for the establishment of provident funds under this act for employees or for any class of employees and specify the establishments or class of establishments to which the said scheme shall apply and there shall be established as soon as may be after the framing of the scheme. A fund in accordance with the provisions of this act and the scheme. Now the next question is what is employees pension scheme? As defined in section 6a1 of this act, the central government may by notification in the official gazette frame a scheme to be called the employees pension scheme for the purpose of providing for superannuation Pension, retiring pension or permanent total disablement pension to the employees of any establishment or class of establishments to which this act applies and widow or widower's pension, children pension or orphan pension payable to the beneficiaries of such employees. Now the next question is what is Employees Deposit Linked Insurance Scheme? As defined in Section 6C1 of this Act, the central government may, by notification in the official gazette, frame a scheme to be called the Employees Deposit Linked Insurance Scheme for the purpose of providing life insurance benefits to the employees of any establishment or class of establishments to which this Act applies. Further, Section 6C2 of this Act states that there shall be established as soon as may be after the framing of insurance scheme a deposit linked insurance fund into which shall be paid by the employer from time to time in respect of every such employee in relation to whom he is the employer. Such amount not being more than 1% of the aggregate of the basic wages, dearness allowance and retiring allowance if any for the time being payable in relation to such employee as the central government may by notification in the official gazette specify. Further, Section 6C4A states that the employer shall pay into the insurance fund such further sums of money not exceeding one-fourth of the contribution which is required to make under subsection 2 as the central government may from time to time determine to meet all the expenses in connection with the administration of the insurance scheme other than the expenses towards 
the cost of any benefits provided by or under that scheme. Now the question is which are the establishments factories covered under this scheme? The scheme covers all factories and establishments in which 20 or more employees are employed. Now the next question is what is the eligibility of membership of this scheme? An employee is eligible for membership of fund from the very first day of joining a covered establishment. However, it has the, some basic salary requirements as well as shown in the image. Now, the next question is how to calculate the share of deposits in employees provident funds scheme. Following are the typical methods to calculate the share of deposition in employees provident funds scheme. Employees share that is 12% of the basic plus DA. Employers contribution that is 12% to be deposited as 8.33% to be deposited in pension fund and the balance that is 3.67% to be deposited in employers provident fund along with employees share of 12%. Now the question is what is employees benefit? Following are the significant benefits of employees under such a scheme. Provident fund benefits, pension benefits and debt benefits. Now the question is what are the duties of employer? Following are the important duties of an employer. Employer to furnish information about ownership and names of responsible persons of the establishment, declaration and nomination, joining and leaving of service by the members in Form 5 and Form 10 respectively. Next, Form 12A with monthly challenge of deposit, Form 9 for details of employees. Form 3A, 6A at the end of the financial year and any other information as may be required under Para 76 of the scheme. So this is all about the Employees Provident Funds and Miscellaneous Provisions Act 1952.